Hi there, Mike Moosey from 3D Business Solutions here. Right now we're going to be going through and documenting how to add captions to a Facebook Live video or any other video that's been uploaded to Facebook. About a week ago I came across an opportunity where I wanted to upload captions or titles to a Facebook Live video after it was or after post-production and I did some research on the internet and I did a Google search and I wasn't able to find any quick easy to understand tutorial about how to do this and Facebook's documentation was horrible so what I decided to do was create a quick five minute tutorial about how to upload your own what's called SRT or subrip file to Facebook for any live video or video that you've published so step one Find the video that you'd like to edit or update. I'm going to use a live video I shot at our local city's council meeting yesterday, right here. First thing you need to do is click this date timestamp right here. This will open the video in theater mode. You must be doing this from a computer and not your phone. Unfortunately, you can't do it from your phone. Next thing you do is step two, select options edit this video. Then the screen will open. Within here what I recommend you do is go through and update all of the metadata that's associated with the video so you can tag people that appeared in the video and give it a title. I'm going to update the title accordingly here. Accordingly, on that city council meeting 04 11 2016 you can pick a thumbnail where date time stamp it April 2016 the description in here it'll automatically capture what you had put in the post description mind you the post description and video description can be different we're gonna skip this for one second come down here make sure you categorize it appropriately in this case, I'm going to put politics, public, and now we're going to get to the captions file. So all of this metadata, what this is doing right here, especially for live videos, is it's preparing for the future of video and live video searching capabilities, which word on the street will be available shortly. And right now it's April 12, 2016. So I'd imagine by early, sometime in May, this will be available. So what we're going to do is prepare the file. I already have it prepared here. You may use Notepad, or in my case, I use Notepad++. This is the format of what goes into the file. Mind you, this let's go through line by line what this represents. This number here is the caption number in sequence within the file itself. Row number two is the start time, as I have highlighted, and the end time of the respective caption. In my case, the third and fourth line are the captions themselves. Now, you can have as many lines of captions as you want, but you want to be careful because you don't want the captions to dominate the video. So if I wanted to add, say, split the captions into two segments, I could simply do this and name that two and do it at the halfway point, which would be 45 minutes through this video. And then on the second caption, start it at the 45-minute marker and run it to the 90-minute marker and simply put thank you for joining please join us next Monday now here comes the tricky part and this is where I consumed and wasted a lot of time trying to get it right so don't make the same mistakes I've done you want to save the file as in this first portion of the file name you can make it whatever you want I have my own little naming convention. But at the end of this file name, pretend you name it that, what you want to add is a dot and then en underscore us. What this represents is the language in which the caption or title file, captions or title, will be added to the file. In my case, it's going to be English US. Then, very important, at the end of the file name, put dot srt. I recommend switching this to 
all types here, and then save the file. Then once the file is saved, you return back to your Facebook video editor screen, choose the file that you had just created, take one second, there it is, select the file, then save. If you've prepared it properly and named it properly, what will happen is the video will start to replay with your captions added. And we were successful. There we go. Right there. Uh, that's it. Um, I hope this was helpful. I, my intention is to save you a lot of time and pain. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Michael Lucy at 3V Business Solutions. My phone number is 734-224-8220. You can reach me via my website, 3vbiz.com, on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. I once again thank you for watching this. Have a great day. See you next time.